So I put Wolverhampton, a mid-table Premier League team, in the league game, which is known as the Farmers League, to see how they would really get on. Would they get relegated? Would they get top four? Would they just be mid-table? Right, so we've simmed the game until November, and Wolves are currently seventh. With 10 games played, they've won five of their games, which is not bad at all. They're up there with Monaco, Nice, or Marseille. Pretty good. Wouldn't surprise me by Christmas if they're pushing for bloody top four. Right, it's the big match day. Wolves are playing PSG, and we're going to quickly sim at the game to see how they get on. They actually won 2-1 to so, make Wolves are storming it. Perdant and Kuno got their goals. And they still currently sit 7th with 6 wins in the league at 12. It's the 1st of January and Wolves are sitting 4th in the league. Un, above FC Nantes and Olympiacos. They're on 9 wins out of 17 games. They've scored 23 goals which isn't bad at all. They're also in the round of 32 in the French Cup as well. Kuna is 13th in the top goal scoring ranking. Uh, not the best. But, I mean Wolves are still doing good right. They're going to get Champions League. It's time again to play Wolverhampton at home we're in march so we're getting towards the end of the season probably about the 20 game mark now yeah they're sim this bad boy and see what wolverhampton are cooking and it's one all so a fair result wolves unfortunately don't win but it is against psg they're 15 points clear let's just say that first manu kone gets a goal for wolves um and lee kang in gets a psg's goal wolves did actually crash out to pal fc in the french cup as of 25 games played they're sitting fourth so they're looking like they're gonna get top four for a mid-table Premier League team to finish top four in the league and that would be funny. Anyway, I'm going to sim now to the end of the season. I really do hope they get top four. So this is how the league is looking. Wolves finish sixth. They just missed out on top four. That's very sad. Winning 16 of their 34 games, uh, scoring 45 goals. If we say finishing ninth is mid-table, Wolves were just three points off finishing mid-table. Now, this could either be FIFA Karimo doing its thing or the standard of the league and actually being somewhat high. We just don't know it. I just thought this would be pretty interesting. Looking at the players' stats, none of the Wolves players were really in there. Kuna got 11 goals. So we've just put a mid-table Premier League team in the league. Un. What if we put a team from the bottom of the Premier League into the league? Un? Would they maybe push for top six like Wolves or drop down and be with bloody Clement foot 63? So Southampton are now in the league. Un. A three and a half star rated team. For comparison, most of the league teams are three and a half stars. So you'd think they'd do all right considering Southampton are a championship team. So we've simmed to the 19th of December, the day before we have Southampton at home. Let's check the league and table and see how Southampton are getting on. I can't see them. 12th. I thought they'd be a little bit lower, to be completely honest. So they've played 16 games, uh, won five, lost eight. Anyway, let's see how this game against PSG goes. And it's a nil-nil draw. That's very boring. I mean, they come away with a point. That's really good on their end. Now, I don't see them in the cup competition anywhere. It would say if they got knocked out here. I just really don't think they, they're in the cup. Once again, Southampton are nowhere near the golden boot. Klein Dice sits on six goals in 10 games, which isn't the worst. So the January transfer window has just gone. PSG is still at the top of the league, as always. We don't even need to check that. We need to check for the real deal and say Southampton sit 14th. Just above the relegation spot. Now, anything above the relegation spot, don't get me wrong, it's very impressive. I mean, they're seven points off. They should be all right. I'm going to sim to the last game of the season, which is Southampton away. This is how the table is looking going into the final game of the season. PSG have already won the league. Southampton are 11th. That's very surprising. They have had a good second half of the season. Winning 12 games out of their 33, losing 15. Um, they're on 42 points. Scored a decent amount of goals. Well, they're well, well clear of relegation. And they're a championship side as well. They're 13 points clear of that spot. Anyway, let's see this game's result. PSG have won one nil, but the Saints are fine. They are fine. Klein did. Klein did. <laughs> fuck. Southampton's top goal scorer finished the season with 11 goals in 33 matches. Um, the top goal scorer was Under. I don't know where Mbappe is. I've seen Neymar there. So that was Southampton in the Ligue 1, the first tier of French football, when Southampton are actually a team in the second division of English football. That's right, we put Man City in the Ligue 1. It was rude not to. How would Premier League champions finish in the Ligue 1? Probably going to win it or come second, one of the two. So we're in December, right before Christmas, just about to play Man City and... Um, this is how the table's looking, Man City are, you would never guess that, they're top of the league. With 43 points, they've only lost one game. Don't know where they are in the Champions League. I, uh, maybe I didn't put the right setting on or something. Anyway, yeah, I've cocked that one up. <laughs> And City have won 2-1. Greenwich has got both of the goals with Asensio getting one in the 80th minute PSG. It looks like it's going to be a two-man race, to be completely honest. Let's see what they can do in the January transfer window. Now, I don't know if, it, like, AI teams actually purchase any players. 
The January transfer window has just ended. City are sitting on 49 points. They've only lost one game since we last checked. But so are PSG. They're doing very good. This is a reminder of the City Liverpool uh, season. They bought Kieran Trippier randomly. That's a very uh, random transfer. And Luke Mbete. They're also in the court finals of the Cooper National, which is the um, like French FA Cup, I'm certain. Uh, City did win in the round of 16. Anyway, I'm going to seem to the last game of the season, which is indeed against City. And. Um, this, this game might even bloody decide who wins the league. No, I've, I've just been sacked on the spot right then. I've actually just been sacked, Mr. Moyes. Can I at least fucking see the... Right, I want to at least see the result of the league. I'm still in the league, oh, fuck it, mate. I'll take it. Well, we're playing City again. This is in the semi-finals of the cup. I mean, let's be fair, Man City win almost every Cabo Cup in FA Cup. And just, as I predicted, they won 3-0. So the season has been finished. Who won the league? Who won the league? Who won the league? Who won the league? City won it by two two points. I mean, it's it was always going to be one of them two teams, right? They actually had the worst of the goal difference as well. But yeah, I mean, they smashed the league. And that's fair to say, only losing three games. The top goal scorer was Harlem with 25 goals and uh, Bernardo Silva. Again, yeah, they take away they take away all the awards. They also smashed the cup as well, winning 4-1 in the final. I've enjoyed this. It's something different. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want to see anything more cool like this.